Welcome back to 5 Minute Tutorials. In the last video, we have solved the optimum solution of the problem using the simplex method. Please do watch the first video before jumping in the second video. After having the final tableau, but the third constraint says that all decision variables must be integer, so we need to add special constraints or cuts to the solution space in a manner that it can render an integer optimum point. Let's have a fractional cut with a row 3 or x sub 1 in hope to get the integer optimal solution. It's x sub 1 plus 5 over 7, x sub 2 plus 1 over 7, x sub 1, less than or equal to 36 over 7. Break down the fraction into a mixed fraction, whole number plus the fractional part. Then simplify by moving the integer number to the left side and fraction into the right side. Then the formula for our first cut is negative 5 over 7 x sub 2 minus 1 over 7 x sub 1 plus g sub 1 equals negative 1 over 7. Then the cut or our Gomery fractional cut will be inserted in the tableau as another constraint. Look at the graph how will the cut affect the optimum region. This is what our first constraint. The second one and the fractional cut will be like this. As you can see, it moved inside from our old region. Adding the third constraint will make our tableau invisible with the simplex method because there's no negative value in the z value. Let's solve the tableau with dual simplex method. Observe the right hand side, we have a negative 1 over 7. I will be making a detailed example video of how to solve dual simplex method, but we will try to touch some parts of it in this lesson. First, look for the most negative value in the right hand side, which is negative 1 over 7. Then conduct the ratio test that is dividing the z row by the pivot row that is 1 over 7 divided by negative 5 over 7 and 3 over 7 divided by negative 1 over 7 and the rest results to 0. Look at the absolute value of ratio test and choose the smallest value. In this case, we have 1 over 3 then g sub 1 will be our pivot row, s sub 1 is our pivot column and we have negative 1 over 7 as our pivot element. Then solve the tableau the same method we used earlier in getting the optimal value or optimal tableau. Then this will be our final tableau with our optimal integer solution x sub 1 equals 5 and z value of 15. As you can see, we have arrived with the same answer using both branch and bound and cutting plane method. This is how they are related. When using the branch and bound method, we generated three sets of integer solutions, which is in second iteration, fourth iteration, and the sixth iteration. But the first set with x sub 1 equals 5 and x sub 2 equals 0 has the highest z value compared to other solution sets, which means that why we only conducted one Gomori fractional cut in the cutting plane method for it will already lead us to the same optimal solution. But there are other problems that proceed to several Gomori fractional cuts. Thank you for watching. I would like to take this opportunity in thanking you guys for continuously supporting 5 minute tutorials. Because of you, we are always dedicated to provide you quality tutorial videos for you. The meaning behind of 5 minute tutorials is that we are here to provide you an understandable and comprehensive yet short tutorial videos because we strive to be your best online study buddy. In our Facebook page, 5 Minute Tutorials, we conducted a survey on how we can help you guys with our tutorial videos. These are the people that answered the survey and got an entry for the raffle. Our first winner is... Congratulations to Criserial. Please check your Gmail or Facebook for further instruction how to claim your prize. A one month subscription of Czech Study Pack. Thank you for all who participated. We still have other prizes in our selected videos. So please watch every video and answer the problem. 
and don't forget to subscribe. Once again, this is 5 Minute Tutorials.